Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. I'm up in Minnesota at Mark Bailey's awesome ball python collection. I'm about to go ball python crazy. You're watching Snake Bites. So obviously we're here to look at some amazing ball pythons, but I'm gonna go ahead and start with a pretty special animal right here. Take a look at this beast of an animal. Now this happens to just be a normal ball python, but I tell you what, there's not a whole lot normal about it. Just look at that. It's probably gotta be about 10,000 grams. And this is what it's all about, guys, ball pythons, and the fact that they're just such amazing animals. But I'm not here to just show you normal ball pythons. It's time to look at some incredible color marks. Are you guys ready for the ride? What was the largest clutch of ball python eggs Brian has ever gotten at BHB? A, 17, B, 15, or C, 13? Go ahead and answer down below in the comments and check back later in the show to see if you have the correct answer. In this week's Reptile Report Spotlight, we'll be highlighting dendro boards. Go ahead and check out the URL down below or click on the link in the description. So the first animal I wanna show you is this beautiful snake right here. This is actually called a highway ball python. Now what's interesting about these guys is that they're part of the allelic trait with yellow bellies, which just basically means that when you breed a gravel, which is het highway, to a yellow belly, one in four babies is gonna come out like this, which is a highway. Now it's the same complex as super stripe and puma, but I tell you what, they're all a little bit different and this guy is definitely gorgeous. I've always been really partial to clowns. We brought in one of the first females about 15 years ago out of Africa. It's a recessive mutation, and now there's a bunch of really cool paint jobs like this little guy here. This is actually a pastel lesser clown. So the pastel gene is codominant, the lesser gene is codominant, and of course the clown gene is recessive. It's definitely an incredible looking snake. I tell you, wherever you look, there's amazing ball pythons in Mark's collection. It's so hard to decide what to show you guys, because again, every cage is just a gorgeous animal. Now this just happens to be a banana ball python, just a single gene animal, but what's so impressive is just the size of the animal. I've seen a lot of bananas, but you very rarely see them of this size, so it was impressive, and I had to show you guys. This is a super special. Now the special gene is a Lilic to Mojave that produces the crystal. I know it gets a little Confusion, but this is actually the double special, which is a super special, which means that if you bred this animal to a Mojave, every baby would come out crystal, which is a beautiful gene in itself. But again, the super specials are really cool because they have that really cool orange coming through them. But again, it's a powerhouse gene to have. It's awesome to be holding one of them. GHI ball pythons have really come onto the scene over the last few years, and a lot of people wonder what GHI means. Believe it or not, Matt Lear named them GHI for gotta have it, and they're truly amazing animals, but the Mojave GHIs by far are the coolest animal in my opinion, and this little beauty is set up to breed a whole bunch of females. I absolutely love the champagne gene, and who would have thought when we brought in the very first champagnes that they'd be a dominant mutation. Now the problem is, is that it's such an overpowering gene that a lot of times when you're breeding it into other paint jobs, it kind of just looks like a champagne. Well this animal happens to be pretty unique in the fact that not only is it extremely light, but it has all of the pattern. Now we've seen this with Enchi champagnes in the past, but this doesn't have Enchi in it, so I think this one has a lot of promise. Everyone knows that I'm absolutely an Enchi nut. Well, there's some beautiful Enchi combos here, and I really want to start with this one right here. This is an Enchi ghost. Now, the Enchi gene is codominant, and the ghost or hypo gene is a recessive, but when they come together, man, it's a really, really beautiful snake. But I tell you what, there's a lot of other Enchi combos in here that absolutely blow me away. Check this one out here. This is an Enchi clown. And again, that Enchi gene just really cleans things up and makes it just really pop. So this is a beautiful animal, but I tell you what, as much as I love the Enchi clown, going one step further is just really amazing. Take a look at this snake right here. This happens to be an Enchi pastel clown or a pastel Enchi clown. Holy crap, that thing is bright. Can you just imagine what that thing is going to look like when it's 2,500 grams? This thing is absolutely gorgeous. 
What a cornerstone for a beautiful project. Let's take a look at a few baby snakes. Now, I had just recently showed you the Mojave GHI. This animal looks a lot like it, but believe it or not, it's a butter GHI. It's pretty amazing to me that the butter is so much lighter than the Mojave, yet when you breed it into a GHI, you get an animal that's almost exactly like it. But I tell you what, I'm definitely digging that animal as well. And I tell you, there's a lot of amazing animals at Mark's Place, but this may be my favorite animal here. This is a Super Pastel Spider Butter Clown. It's a lot to say and it's a lot of genes, but just take a look at how clean that animal is. This is just gorgeous now, and I can't wait to see what it's gonna look like when it's six or 800 grams. This is an animal I have to own at some point. I tell you, another really cool mutation that Mark's working with is called an Orange Dream. This happens to be an Orange Dream Enchi Fire. Now what's really cool is the fire gene and the Enchi gene are both enhancer genes and get better as they get older, and then the orange Orange Dream really cleans things up and makes them pop. Let's go ahead and look at some Orange Dream mutations right now. This is a Pastel Orange Dream Clown. Now the Pastel gene is a co-dominant gene along with the Orange Dream and the clown of course is recessive and the Orange Dream gene really just makes things cleaner and brighter. But take a look at this animal right here. This happens to be a Pastel Super Orange Dream Clown. So just that super gene makes it look that much more clean. And again, most Orange Dreams get better as they get bigger so this sucker is just going to get brighter and brighter all right so this is an orange dream leopard now the leopard gene is kind of interesting because a lot of people thought it was attached to the pie gene and there's a lot of controversy whether or not it is but nevertheless it's a pattern mutation and of course this is the orange dream version of a leopard ball python now this is pretty cool here check this out this is a pastel super orange dream and again you can just see look at how clean that animal is it just really makes it beautiful and one step further this happens to be a super pastel super orange dream so again as this thing gets bigger it's going to get better and better and i have a feeling this is going to be one beautiful snake in about six months this is a Pastel Enchi Orange Dream. And as you guys can see, the Orange Dream stuff does a lot of really cool stuff. But I tell you what, this is absolutely my favorite mutation right here. This is an Orange Dream Spider Yellow Belly. And I know you guys are probably thinking there's Pastel in this, but believe it or not, there's not. Just the Orange Dream and the Spider and the Yellow Belly combined together makes this animal so bright just like this. These Orange Dream animals definitely have an awesome future. But I tell you what, this by far is my favorite one. There's no doubt that the banana mutation is one of the prettiest ball pythons out there. And Mark has some really ridiculous combos. I want to start out with this one that's a relatively simple one. This is just a banana yellow belly. But the yellow belly gene really adds a different dynamic to the banana gene. Now, of course, we talked earlier about the complex bred to yellow belly and specter or highway or gravel. Well, this happens to be the specter version of yellow belly, which is a super stripe. So this is a banana super stripe. And holy crap is that thing incredible i tell you that's a beautiful beautiful combination but i tell you what my favorite one in the banana complex is the cinnamon stuff this happens to be enchi cinnamon banana which is one step even cooler and this is the first one i've seen in person and i tell you what it's not disappointing me the way that one goes i definitely have to try to make some of those guys and another mutation in banana that i think really works out well is the mojave gene well this happens to be one step further which is the Enchi Mojave banana. Just look at the way that those colors blend. I tell you, going back 15 years ago, I never thought I was going to hold a ball python that's this cool. All right, so this is a four gene animal. This is a cinnamon spider Enchi banana, but I want to take you through the entire process of putting them all together and show you what they look like. Separately, this would be a cinnamon banana, which I've already said is one of my favorite mutations when it comes to banana, mainly because every time you see black in a normal ball python, it's it's going to turn purple in a banana and just look at how purple that animal is and then this happens to be the enchi version which again the enchi bananas are really cool because for whatever reason the enchi really brightens them up so when you breed the cinnamon to enchi you start heading in that direction and then finally you add the spider ball python which again is a pattern mutation so it makes it pretty cool the end result is a cinnamon spider enchi banana i just want to show you the difference that one gene can really make this happens to be an enchi banana and this is an enchi banana yellow belly again that one yellow belly gene just changes the appearance so much and makes such a dramatic difference 
Again, guys, there are so many ball pythons here. I could spend three shows showing you how many awesome animals, but I'm gonna wrap up with this one. This is a pastel enchi calico yellow belly vanilla. I know that's five genes, but these five genes mixed together to produce one incredible ball python. I don't know about you guys, but I am completely blown away by Mark Bailey's collection. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed showing it to you. What was the largest clutch of ball python eggs Brian has ever gotten at BHB? If you said A, 17, you're 100% correct. Good job. All right, guys, so Brian was in Minnesota this weekend and it was very, very cold, like in the negative degrees. And I personally, I can't handle that. I'd probably die. So I want to know, what's the coldest place you've ever been to? And how did you feel about that? Leave a comment below and let us know. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. Mark sir has some amazing animals. And as always, I was Facebooking and tweeting my way through it. So if you want to follow any of my animal adventures, make sure to hit me up over at Snake Bites TV. Till next week, you've been watching Snake Bites. Hey, Brian from Snake Bites here. I'm up in Minnesota at Mark Bailey's awesome ball fight on collection. I'm about to go ball crazy. Well, actually, ball fight on crazy, yeah. <laughs>